Hi, my name is Dr. Brown. I've been a board certified dermatologist for over a decade now. Let's break down what are active ingredients, how do we use them, why are they important. By the end of this video, you'll know the proper way to lay your products to see maximum benefit and minimum irritation. So what are the active ingredients? Active ingredients are things that benefit your skin in some way. For example, vitamin C will help brighten the skin. Niacinamide is an active ingredient that helps with the texture, helps with acne. AHAs and BHA stands for alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. Those things help exfoliate the top layer of the skin so they will help with hyperpigmentation, dark marks from acne, giving you that nice glass skin, and overall anti-aging as well. So how are we gonna layer these to get maximum benefit but minimal irritation? Because these active ingredients sometimes can't be mixed together because they interact and cancel each other out. Other times they shouldn't be mixed together because they will increase irritation to your skin barrier. Let's talk about niacinamide first. It's one of my favorite ingredients to see in skin care and honestly it can be mixed in skincare and often is without us even knowing it but when I talk about the active ingredients here I'm talking about getting a bottle of an actual niacinamide while niacinamide can be used both morning and evening I love it in the evenings so my recommendation with niacinamide is to apply it in the evening and apply it to clean skin another question I often get is how long do you need to wait for one product to dry before you apply another as long as one is dry you can apply another one now while we're talking about evening skincare let's talk about another really important active ingredient and that's a retinol whether using retinol retinol or tretinoin which is a retinoic acid they're all the same thing adapalene is another one that's in this category examples of adapalene that you might be familiar with are different gel all of these ingredients are in retinol category because they all work very very similarly to help exfoliate that top layer of the skin and then after consistent continued use of at least eight weeks they'll help stimulate collagen production in that second layer of the skin and that's when you really see decreased wrinkling and increased glowing in the skin. Retinols, with the exception of adapalene, should be applied in the evening. This is extremely important. If you take your over-the-counter retinol and you apply that in the morning, it is deactivated by the sunlight, so it's just not working. Now, we've already applied our niacinamide. Retinol can be applied on either clean, dry skin, not damp, or on top of your niacinamide, or on top of a plain moisturizer. If you're somebody who is new to retinols, I always recommend applying moisturizer first, then your retinol, then you can moisturize again. This is called a retinol sandwich. For more information on this, check out my video on retinol irritation, where I go into detail on how much to use, how to apply it, and how often to use it. If you're somebody who uses niacinamide already and you're introducing retinol into your skincare line, I recommend applying niacinamide to dry clean skin in the evening, allowing it to completely dry, then applying your retinol on top of that. How much retinol do you apply? We always say a pea size amount. Some of the retinols already come in the pumps. One pump is plenty. I would not recommend doing two or three pumps unless you're using it on your neck and chest. If your skin is on more dry or sensitive side, I would always recommend moisturizing on top of retinol. It will not cancel it out. Before we continue with the other actives I have planned, let me know below if you have had any issues with managing your actives, how are you introducing them, if you've had problems with irritation, comment below, let me know what happened and we'll try and sort through it. Another active that most of you are already probably using and if you're not, you need to be starting it, is vitamin C. Vitamin C helps decrease the signs of aging and helps brighten the dark spots. It increases potency of your sunscreen by up to eight times and it does this by preventing the free radical formation that we get from the UV light, therefore or helping the sunscreen work better. So not only are you gonna slow down the aging process of fine lines and wrinkles, you're also gonna brighten your brown spots by using vitamin C underneath your sunscreen in the mornings. Vitamin C is extremely important in my opinion to be used and while you can use it twice a day, in the morning is a must. Using your vitamin C in the evening is totally fine. You can apply your niacinamide or your retinol on top of it if you want to in that order. Just make sure the layer is dry in between the applications. But the best benefit of vitamin C will be seen by applying it in the mornings. Vitamin C should be applied in the morning to dry, clean skin. And making sure that your skin is dry before you apply to vitamin C is extremely important, especially if your skin is sensitive. The reason for this is when your skin is a little bit damp from moisture, it's more prone to irritation. Therefore, you want to always make sure that you allow your skin to completely dry before you're applying any actives, really, but definitely vitamin C. Make sure your vitamin C serum is completely dry before you apply a moisturizer on top and sunscreen on top of that. Now, here's another act 
active that some of you might not be quite yet using, and these are the exfoliating acids. This includes things like AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids and BHAs, beta hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids are things like mandelic, lactic, and glycolic acid. If your skin is dry and sensitive and you want to start an exfoliating acid, look for something with either mandelic or lactic acid. If your skin is either a combination or oily or you suffer from hyperpigmentation, glycolic acid is going to be your jam. And salicylic acid, if you have oily skin and acne prone skin. Using salicylic acid will help decrease the oiliness and help minimize the appearance of the size of the pores. Exfoliating acids, in my opinion, are best used at bedtime because your exfoliating acid is going to take off that top layer of the skin. Same thing for retinols. The new layer skin that's underneath is very prone to sunburn and sensitivity. So making sure that it's properly protected, especially with your sunscreen in the morning, is going to be extremely important. Now, question I get often is, can you layer your exfoliating acid with a retinol? And the answer is probably yes. And this is how you're going to determine that. If your skin is in a dry sensitive camp, can't tolerate a lot of things, start either with a retinol or lactic or mandelic acid, alternate them nightly. On the other end of the spectrum is if your skin is really oily and you've already been doing salicylic acid and you've been doing your tretinoin and alternating them, you can certainly try mixing them together and this is how you're going to do that. On clean, completely dry skin, apply your exfoliating acid first. I would recommend getting something like a solution or a toner, something you can wipe on that's going to dry really quickly. Allowing it time to completely dry is very important. I would give it at least two minutes. This is perfect time to go ahead and brush your teeth. After your exfoliating acid is completely dry, go ahead and use only a pea size amount of your retinol, whether that's a retinol, retinol, or tretinoin, and apply it to your entire face. This will dry pretty quickly, probably within a few seconds, and I would recommend moisturizing on top of your retinol. Now, if you're new to adding exfoliating acids and retinols in the same nighttime routine, I would not recommend doing this more than one night in a row because you might experience irritation and your skin might not show it for a couple of days. So if you're going to add your retinol on top of your exfoliating acid, do it one night and then skip a couple of nights and then try it again and then increase as your skin can tolerate it. If you ever wake up in the morning and you go to apply your vitamin C after you wash your face and you notice that your skin is burning, that is your sign that whatever you did the night before might have been a little too much. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Dr. Alexandra Brown, and that's with a K S, no X. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions on how to layer your skincare, which one to use when in the comments below. Please.